Welcome to Math with Market. Today we're gonna solve a really nice math Olympiad from Berkeley Math Tournament. So let's talk about this. Here we have a nice integral, a very nice integral. So it and this is the integral from zero to one e to the x times e to the e to the x times e to the e to the e to the x dx. What a nice problem is this. So let's talk about this. If I write e to the x, e to the power of x as t, and if I differentiate on the left side, we can write e to the power of x times dx will be equal dt. Why? Let me write for you in this box. Uh, for example, if you have y equals um, e to the power of u, then the y prime will be equal u prime times l to the power of u times ln a and yeah that's it and imagine a is equal e so if you take the derivative of this function the answer will be equal u prime times e to the power of u so it means instead of e to the power of x times dx i can write dt so here we have our integral um instead of e to the power of x we can write dt so we have e to the power of t this one that's going to be t and this one is going to be t so times e to the e to the t and instead of e to the power of x times dx we can write dt so we're gonna solve a little uh, easier integral so what can I do I can write again I can write e to the t sorry I write x e to the power of t as for example uh, u and if you take the derivative you can write e to the power of t times dt that's equal du so it means instead of e to the power of t you can write u here I mean you can write u and instead of e to the power of t times dt you can write d2 i mean this one so our integral will be equal integral uh e to the power of u times d u and of course you know that it's going to be e to the power of u and don't forget u was equal e to the power of t so that's going to be e to the power of e to the power of t and what was t? t was equal e to the power of x. So our main function for this integral will be equal e to the e to the e to the x, right? And that was from z, uh, zero to one. So finally, we can calculate our answer. If you put one here. You can write e to the e to the e minus if you put zero here e to the power of zero that's equal one. So here we go, we have e to the power of e and that's the final answer. What a beautiful answer is. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the video and thanks for watching.